Gemini, hi and welcome to my channel. Today, I will be doing your upcoming love tarot reading. This will be for December 2020. All right, so the way I like to do these readings is basically, I'm going to take a look at the shared energy between you both. We're gonna look at their energy, your energy, and then the near future, what is coming towards you. All right, let's give these a few shuffles here. And let's see what's happening for you, Gemini. This is for December 2020. All right, I do like to lay down one layer first, just to get an idea of the general and dominant energies. And then we will go in and clarify. All right, three more shuffles for my Gemini. Right. We're going to stop here. The shared energy between you both. How do they see you? How do they feel about you? What action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? What action would you like to take towards them? And in the near future, what is coming towards you? At the bottom, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Very interesting energy. <laughs> there is, it's a love reading, right? And the shared energy between you guys is the single ladies card. Myth independent, myth self-sufficient here. So, you know, maybe, maybe it's about like being independent within a partnership, you know? So I love that kind of energy, but we will go in and clarify. Um, really interesting, that independent energy. The way they see you, Gemini, is the wheel of fortune, fate destiny. It's a card of like, you know, things are just out of our control. This is just how life is. This is the wheel of life. What was up must come down. What is down will also come back up. It's the cycles of life, meaning it is what it is. But it's fate and it's destiny. So we'll, we'll go in and clarify. We'll understand it a lot better. Absolutely. All right. The way they feel about you. Beautiful. I mean, this is a very committed, very dedicated energy. This is like a treasure them. It's, it's something that you just invested. They feel very invested when it comes to you. Or they're ready to invest a lot when it comes to you. If they're not invested, they are ready. Like if you guys were single, you're like, baby, I don't wanna be single anymore. And maybe that's why this energy is here. Maybe you met somebody and your heart's like, ba-boom, ba-boom. We'll know, we will know. The action is the devil here that they would like to take towards you. So we'll see what the devil means. I mean, the devil for me is just like, it's about putting light on some invisible chain, something that's got some kind of control over us. But the devil, make no mistake, is so masterful of the material realm. He is master of the material realm because he knows exactly how to mo motivate people. He knows exactly what people are yearning for. You know, that's why the devil takes on different forms for each of us. You know, for one, it might be a drug addiction. Another, it might be the way we talk to ourselves, right? But either way, there's some invisible chains here. Some invisible chains here. We'll clarify them. The way you see them, beautiful Ten of Cups. This is like, I can have it all. This is happy home, happy family. That's what it is. That's literally what it is. And then the way you feel, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Two of Cups. You're like, oh my God, this is a divine partnership. This is harmonious. This is like everything I could have hoped for. What a match. What a great, great match. It doesn't matter if it's business. It doesn't matter whoever you're thinking of. This is beautifully matched. Very harmonious. The action that you would like to take towards them is this Ten of Wands. So maybe there's something that's like just heavy and you're like, what? We'll see. We'll see when we go in and clarify. And then coming towards you both in the situation is the Page of Swords. This is more clarity. This is an openness. This is trying to cut to the heart of the matter, get to the root of something, get to the truth of something. But it's very unbiased, which I love. All right, let's find out. Nine of Cups is at the bottom. Let's find out what this Nine of Pentacles is about. It's a shared energy in the relationship. So let's see. What's this Nine of Pentacles for Gemini? All right, I'm going to take you. The star is here. The Four of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is here. All right, there's some healing energy that's trying to come through. This is, it's like feeling like this is a wish come true. You know, if this is a new person, I just feel like it's like, whoa, how did this happen? Or maybe something comes through even for you both that just puts you in a much healthier place financially. Let me mention that as well. But this is definitely feeling like balance. This is feeling like, oh my God, equal give and take. Again, much harmony here, much harmony. And then the star is here. This is between both of you. This is like healing. So let's say if this is not new, 
because for some of you, for, for real right now, I'm just feeling like, oh my God, you guys are single and you met each other. And voila, and you're just like, oh my God, how's this person feeling? What's going on here? Um, and they're feeling, I think, the same. Like a wish come true. If it is not a new person, then certainly, if you guys separated and you went solo here, and you went independent, I feel like that energy of going alone and solo is now healing. It could be on its way out. Meaning you might be thinking about getting back together here. But yeah, there is an independent, either single energy or self-sufficient energy. But it's it's healing and it's feeling like a wish come true right now. And this is a shared energy between you both. All right, tell us more about the Wheel of Fortune for how they see you. But yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, again, it could have been so traumatic and there could have been a real break here that you guys went independent. And I feel like, Maybe that breakup helped heal a bit. All right, tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune for how they see you, Gemini. I'm going to take it. Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom. It's like a, I can have it all type of energy. Yeah, I mean, they see you healing right now for sure. This is the Four of Swords. is like you're resting and recovering, regaining your strength. You've been through something. But with that Knight of Swords, I mean, you they might see you as a bit headstrong right now. They might like, ah, be careful around Gemini. Gemini will cut my head off right now. It uh, kind of feels like at that Knight of sword. This is going in. This is being like something was not right and it needs to be addressed. And we need to uproot this problem. It's very uh, strong. It's very action oriented. It's moving very fast. But it's like, you know, maybe you've been doing some healing. And that healing, like maybe you took some space here, Gemini, to heal. And you took some time here to recover, to regain your strength. Because this obviously took a lot. And when that happened and in that space, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune just appeared and it like may have put you in this place to be like, boom, I'm ready to take fast action. I'm ready to move really quickly here. All right, let's see this King of Pentacles. Let's see how they're feeling. That's more important because the way they see you, that's just their opinion. It's just their perspective. How they feel now. Now I feel like we cut more to the heart of it, quite literally. All right, tell me about this King of Pentacles for how they are feeling when it comes to this partnership. Yeah, this is very invested, very committed energy. Like, like really, um, this is that Midas touch. Very stable, very secure. Like, like King of Pentacles, he doesn't change how he feels very quickly. No, it takes a lot to move that an Earth energy, right? They're very grounded, they're very rooted. So it's really beautiful energy. All right, tell us more for how they are feeling when it comes to this partnership. All right, two more. I'm going to stop here. Yeah, the Empress is at the bottom. Six of Swords and the Sun. They're feeling happy. I think, I think you know, for a lot of you, there was a break here. There was a break here, and now it's like, they're like, dude, I'm ready to move from where I'm at, and I'm ready to go and invest into something really serious because you make me so happy here. I mean, it's, 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 it's very clear. It's like they treasure you. Um, and they're in this emotional state of transition into a much more secure and stable place. And you just make them feel so happy. You make them feel young and vibrant and like, like you can have this total happiness, this bright new day together. Very beautiful energy. All right, the action they would like to take to you here is the devil. And maybe, you know, maybe that devil, like I said, the devil always comes through just to shed light on something, right? That's all it is to be like, hey, those invisible chains you couldn't see before, there they go. And so maybe they're like, hey, I would like to put some light on what went down, what was wrong, so that we can correct it and close this door, you know? Um, but let's, let's, let's clarify, what's this devil? For the action they would like to take towards you, I'm going to take that. Ace of Swords is at the bottom. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, yeah. They're, they're clear, they're clear. I feel like, yeah, they're ready to move away from this direction. Both characters in these cards that I've pulled, as you can see, the devil's in, just in the center. This lady is looking that way. This man is looking that way. They're not, they don't want to do this anymore. They're ready to move away from whatever was toxic, whatever, whatever they believe was the element that destroyed something here, was the bad factor here. That whatever that is, they're like, okay, I'm ready to shift directions here. You know, I feel like they're making plans here. They're starting to think of all the ways they can go, what they can do. And they're starting to think about how to take the first steps here, how to, how to really approach you and take the first steps here. They may not be moving yet because I feel like they're really thinking about it. They're really considering it. And I think there's something here that they're like, 
I'm trying not to let that have any kind of control over me anymore. But you may not see them moving or acting yet because they are in that Knight of Pentacles energy and it is the slowest moving energy. Like, But whatever they are trying to build here is built to last. And let me tell you, there's a lot of pentacles here and I just feel like it's feeling more grounded now. It's definitely, they're, they're looking to change direction from whatever was toxic. They're like, nope, no more. This is taking my power back to two of wands. This is saying I could be more, I could do more. I can be whoever I want. I can go wherever I want. I can have whatever I want. And not in an arrogant way, but in, in the empowered way, you know? All right, how do you see them? Beautiful Ten of Cups. Beautiful Ten of Cups here. Happy home, happy everything. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups or how you see them. Again, I would like to really take a look at this Two of Cups for how you're feeling, so that's next. Um, okay. How do you see them, Gemini? What's this Ten of Cups? Happy home, happy life, happy everything. All right, one more. We're going to stop here. Temperance is at the bottom. Ten of Wands is here again. Eight of Wands, yeah, I feel like there's just a heaviness. You're like, something's weighing on them when it comes to happiness, when it comes to their relationships. Again, it's just how you see them. But you also see them as the Eight of Wands. Like, you know, the Eight of Wands is a very high energy card. Very high energy card. This is you saying like, hey, I wanna strike while the iron's hot. It's that kind of energy. It's like you're ready to send a lot of messages, take a lot of action here. Very excited, very high energy, very high energy. But again, you see that something's weighing them down when it comes to family, when it comes to some relationships here, when it comes to something within the heart, basically. Two of Cups, how are you feeling? I mean, it's it's the minor arcana lovers. It's your own minor arcana here. This is saying, you know, I love them. Boom, boom, boom. Tell me, yeah, we'll take it. Let's see. The King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. The King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Very interesting for how you're feeling. You trying to cut out anything independent here? You're like, forget that. I want this partnership. <laughs> Some of you, this is really that simple. You're like, you know what? I want this partnership. I want this partnership. And and maybe some of, and, and you're feeling like I can be self-sufficient. I can be independent in this partnership, but it's got you really being like, with your emotions, let me say this, Gemini. You've got this King of Swords energy. King of Swords is nobody's fool. They use all their life experience when it comes to making decisions, when they navigate this stuff. But yeah, there's a divine partnership here. Divine partnership. Maybe some of you are like, I gotta cut this partnership, <laughs> you know? But there's something here that we're needing strategy when it comes to this partnership. And when it comes to yourself, there's an element here of yourself that you're considering that makes you think about just you. And you'll know what that means. Are you like, can I be independent in this? Has it been fair, you know? Has it been balanced? I don't know, you know? Do I lose myself in this partnership? You know, kinds of things like that. But it's certainly you trying enough strategy and you definitely feel like this is a divine partnership. The action that you would like to take towards them is this Ten of Wands. Let's see, what's this Ten of Wands about? Maybe you just want to put it down. You're like, you know what? This has been weighing so heavy on me. And I'm like, and you're like, I'm like, and you're like, um, I, I need to put this down. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Okay. Oof, justice is here. The world is here. The Knight of Cups is here. Ooh. Okay. It's like, yeah, I feel like you want to put down some burden and some weight. Plain and simple, you're like, you know what? I reached the end of this journey. I don't need to carry this anymore. Maybe it's not yours to carry, right? But you're ready to like get... Basically, it's going through this portal of the world from heaviness to lightness. You want to bring the playfulness and the, and the fun back in. Something's been too heavy. And you're like, you know what? I'm done with that kind of heaviness. I'm done with feeling like this. I'm done with too much responsibility, all work and no play. I'm anything like that, right? But you're like, forget it. I need to, I need to bring the fun and joy back into this. And that's, and you might want to send a sweet message here with that Knight of Cups. You know, the Knight of Cups is also a messenger. Can be sending messages here. You want to make progress here when it comes to this relationship as well. You know, all nights indicate progress. But this is you saying, hey. Something's been heavy. I'm not staying in that energy anymore. That's not working. That's the end of that. You know, I'm closing that chapter out, the end of that journey. 
and you're like, hey, I'm ready to open my heart and have fun and be playful again. Ready to have fun with the world again. Maybe with this relationship, because I feel like some of you definitely want to send a message with that Knight of Cups. And you may. Coming towards you both, we have this Page of Swords. So let's see what that's about. Tell us about the Page of Swords. The Lovers. Ooh. The Hermit. Oh my God, the Three of Cups, it's a reunion. <laughs> The lovers and the hermit coming towards you both. I mean, woo. You guys are both going to spend some time within, basically. This is like isolating yourself. So try to decide. Do you follow your heart? Do you go to each other? Yeah, I mean, it's quite simple. You're spending time with yourselves. There's soul searching coming through with the hermit. This is you like maybe being like, okay, I didn't... I got to organize these thoughts. It's been too heavy. There's been too much in my mind. Let me take a step back. Let me analyze what I've been going through. Let me see what I've been feeling. Let me just figure myself out. This is both of you also like at this point, like not even caring about anything superficial. Just like literally you're like, I just got to do some soul searching. Earthly stuff right now just aren't mattering because this decision, this choice to follow your hearts, to walk into each other's arms again is a big one. It's so big that it's got you both just being like, I gotta go within, I don't I don't know the truth. You know, you got the page of swords, like I said, there's a student and saying, there's something I gotta figure out, there's something I gotta learn, there's something I have to discover, there's something I don't know that I feel like I need to know so that you can make this decision, so that both of you can make this decision. And basically, I mean, we started your reading to remind you, Gemini, with the single card. <laughs> Miss Independent, Miss Beyonce here. And we ended it with the lovers. It's just a choice. It's a choice that is very real for both of you at this point. Both of you are wanting to follow your hearts and then we're just trying to figure out how do we do this? So some soul searching, some soul searching here. I think there was a breakup and we're like, do we really want to be broken up? <laughs> and now, yeah, you're taking some time apart really. Again, I just feel like you're just, you're going within both of you because it's such a big decision and I feel like you don't care about anything else in this world. And not at this point, this is so big. Not that you don't care about anything else, but while you're trying to figure out how to solve this, everything else is going to have to take a back seat. You know, this is so important. It's too important. I got to take a step back. It's like, I can't even talk to other people. I got to listen to my own soul. And that's what both of you are doing. You know, just like this angel in the back, both hands over the heart here. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's just like... Whew. It's only with my soul and my higher self or with, you know, divine that I can figure out and I can navigate this. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. I, I start out with a single card and you end up with the lover. It's amazing. Okay. I'm going to leave it there for you, Gemini. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies and I'll see you all next week.